Please God, make it stop. You're watching At The Music with, with Zach, Zach and Gachi. Roses are red, violets are blue. Melbourne musician Oren Mbachi and Jim O'Rourke's new album, Behold. Zach. Yeah, this record's uh, great. It's got this sort of like Indiana Jones feeling, <laughs> like you're walking through like an old temple. It's just like two men playing Tetris with a garden of instruments. It's, it's a wonderland. Yeah, it's just absolutely, you feel like you're just on this kind of like tunnel walking through it and there's just things like whizzing around your head. You can yeah. never work out what's like electronic and what's organic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they're producers, but they're both multi-instrumentalists uh. as well. I think every sound under the sun is featured in this one song, basically, Behold. Um, and then it breaks into sort of like a Krautwalk jam every now and then. The drums kick in, but never too much. Never too violent. Yeah. Like and then it's back to this subdued narcotic. Yeah, the beats ooze. will sort of sneak in mm. and you just sort of like roll down them. But mm. you just kind of like, you can never tell if you're like having a great time or whether you're like deeply uncomfortable about the whole thing. Um, I loved it. Yeah, I think it's a great record. I yeah. think uh, Oren Ambachi, who's just a local Melbourne guy, is just a real treat. I reckon I'm going to give this a, uh, a confident four Zacks. Zach, 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 Zach. Four Zacks and half a Gotchi, I guess that would be. Zach, 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 Zach. Gotchi. For me. All right, you got me. I'm not from Chicago. But that's not to say that other people aren't. For example, Jaylen isn't one of those people. But her new record, Dark Energy, brings a mm, dark energy to the Chicago footwork sound. Matt, your feet work. How did this record resonate with you? Well, I've only really listened to DJ Richard in terms of the footwork genre before, so that's the only thing I can compare Jaylin to. Oh. Um, but this record was really interesting to me, obviously. It might not sound as diverse if I'd listened to more of the genre, but um, it's got this great sort of combination of the footwork dubstep type beats with this kind of jungle-esque horrorcore fascination. She's got like track names like Guantanamo oh, which and is things like that, which kind of for such a like a genre that's usually so fun and just like frenetic and kind of big beats, gives it this really kind of insidious edge to oh, the totally. whole thing. What's, what, what's the person saying in Guantanamo? Oh, you don't want to hurt anyone. Yeah, but I, it's a little, I did, but I'm sorry. No, it's a little girl being like, I like hurting. I do like hurting people. Something like that. Oh, I don't right. remember exactly. It's terrifying. Yeah. It's really creepy. But then you've got these really kind of like fast beat, like going beats. And when you listen to it on headphones, you can never pick where the beat's going to go. It's never what you think mm. it is. It's so intricate, the mm. entire layout of the beat. The collaboration with Holly Herndon expands. Oh, I'm, excellent. I love Holly Herndon. Yeah. And when you've got both of them working on that track, it's just like... Like rah, yeah. Oh, such a banger of a tune. Great album if you like any kind of like dance music whatsoever really interesting really intricate mm. great for your ears i reckon i'm going to give it four zacks and half a gotcha Zach, 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 Zach. Got well, i'm going to give it four zacks Zach, 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 Zach. this next artist's name i can't quite pronounce sufyan stevans stevans zach Last night I, I took off all my clothes and I lay in bed in a dark room at midnight and listened to this album mm -hmm. in full because I think you've got to like match Sufjan Stevens at his level of vulnerability. Yeah. It's a beautiful record, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, it's very sad. It's about his mother who I believe was schizophrenic and she's dead now and he's just lamenting kind of, well not lamenting but thinking back on his time with her. It's very hard on his sleeve, beautiful. Uh, mm. I mean, what did you think of it? Yeah, I really, I really love how it's sort of impressionistic and nostalgic and hazy, his portraits of his youth and his time in Eugene, Oregon that he spent with his, with his mother and his stepfather. Uh, it's very plaintive. It kind of reminds me of Paul Simon at points, like yeah. his level of this, like sort of very classical poetry, very imagistic but also um, it's quite emotive. I think the unsung hero of this record is the production of the record, yeah. which is so good for something that's so sparse and is really just primarily a guitar and his voice. You know, it means that, like even though there's not usually much other instrumentation, when like a little kind of synth pad creeps up, you really feel it because mm. it's never been there. It's, very, it's a very tasteful mm. album, but tasty. Mm. That's what, thanks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And what does being tasty earn this album? Is what does being tasty earn this album? I mean, I think it's a great album. For me, it's probably like a, um, I reckon this is like a strong four Zacker. Zach, but I think Zach, if you've Zach. ever loved and lost, I mean, this is just, this has a lot of appeal to a lot of people. Sure. I'm also going to give it four Zacks. Zach, 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 Zach. Thanks for tuning in to Add The Music. And don't forget to pick up your seasonal collectible and Zach. And Anne Gotchi. Miniatures. With detachable shoulder-mounted Gatling gun. 
Mama say, Mama sa, Mama kusa.